Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, just a quick unboxing, because I'm not really into unboxings, of this Beeful 20 megapixel action cam that I got from Amazon. Just want to do a, a quick review. Um, I saw it, it was on special offer, it was reduced, it was 25% off, so I thought I'd get it, uh, review it, and then basically sell it on. So I'll give you a quick look inside. Comes in a really nice um, hard case. Don't think it's waterproof or anything like that. It's a generic case that most of these manufacturers use, but it is nice that they provide one, uh, especially if you haven't got a case and you just come getting into action cameras. As you can see when you look inside, it's got basically everything. Now, I'm not going to go through all the bits and bobs. You've got all manner of GoPro style attachments in here. I'm not even bothering taking these out at the end of the day. Some over the years have accumulated you never use. Some are handy. It's got quite a nice um, like protective cage there so that you can use on a GoPro style mount if you want to. Um, different uh, adhesive pads, one will be curved, one will be flat so for a motorbike and so forth like that. In here normally, yes it is, you've got your handlebar mount if you want to film yourself while you're out on your your mountain bike or your motorbike. Very important, an additional battery. So that's always very handy to have. Um, normally if you check these things out, they're a generic style battery. If you type in the voltage and the milliamps into um, Amazon, they can normally, you can get different batteries that will fit into them quite easily. In the uh, front of the casing, you've got again USB cable, standard mi uh, micro USB charging. Nice to in, in a way see micro USB. Um, a lot of them use a mini USB like the SJ cams, so that's quite nice. Different straps, no idea what they are for. Never use them in my life. These two are always handy. Um, they're the two mounts that you would use. If you're mounting it on a selfie stick straight from the camera. Little bit of uh, safety wire. If you fasten it to something, stop it flying off when you're mounted biking. And something I never bother reading. Use a manual, but it looks quite comprehensive. Uh, yeah, it's got everything in there. But these things are normally pretty straightforward, table of contents. But there you go, basically that's everything in there that you will ever require to do actiony type things with your camera. Most important thing that's in the case and the reason you brought the damn thing is the action camera itself. Let's just move that out of the way a bit. So. This is the Beeful action camera. And I'll show you in a minute why I purchased it because um, of the way it's built, basically. The specs and the way it's built. We will go through some basic specs on it. So, that, there's a little lock on it. That pops open. Standard fare for underwater cases. I have not tested this underwater. I have no intention of testing it underwater That's not usually the reason why I buy action cameras because I don't live anywhere near the sea at the end of the day And I only go on holiday perhaps once a year if I'm lucky. So that is the beefal action camera Screw thread underneath for your tripod in there that little flap is your micro USB charger and your micro HDMI out. Trap door, he says. That's nice. That's good quality. Battery, and as I said, it does come with a spare. I have charged them up to make sure, obviously. That should just lock in, yep. On the top, you've got your start button, and I assume your mode button, and then your fire button for obviously video, photo, and so forth. No other buttons around the edge. Um, speaker, 
microphones and I wouldn't have thought that was stereo but it's the microphones and there's one thing those little micro wind muffs that you can buy that stick on when they're like that at the top and not at the front you can always put one of them over and it makes a hell of a difference if you're outside now this is an aluminium body it's just like the SJ7 star it's not quite as hefty as the star but it's, it's not super lightweight it's not al cheapo lightweight but that'll be really good for heat dissipation and it's a really nice finish and then on the front you've got like this almost carbon fibre-esque effect which is just plastic obviously and your lens on the front but let's boot her up oh let's boot her up it starts up just with the same sound as the SJK SJ cams alright on the back really nice display I think it's 2.545 inch on the back which is a really nice display obviously battery um, image stabilization the amount of time that you got left on your card and how long you would have been recording for the mode that you're in at the present time so if we click on that let's see yeah if you swipe up gives you your main menu video still now one thing with this compared to a lot of them which is really interesting is that motion detection um, with that what you do is you set your camera up don't need to press any buttons when something walks in front of the camera it'll start recording when it moves when it's gone out to shot after so many seconds it'll stop recording so this is really good if you want to use it to capture wildlife or you want to set it up opposite a bird table in your garden to capture the birds really really handy car mode video lapse slow record scroll up photo lapse burst mode and then underwater mode very very similar to the SJ Cam SJ8 Plus it's virtually the same display if you remember I did the review on that on my last camera review so it is absolutely the same as that so we'll come out of that we'll leave it in video mode at the moment and then that should be the settings there you go to the mode that you're in so you can choose your mode video still motion detection very similar to what was on the initial display through slow record photo lapse burst mode underwater it's the same resolutions now this does from 4k 24 frames a second 1080 down to 1080p 60 frames a second which is what I tend to use them on and then 120 frames a second is obviously on 720p but that's what you're going to get on a budget action camera so we'll leave it on 1080p 60 frames a second loop recording is off field of view you can alter this wide middle and narrow keep it on wide for me low light mode on and off um, how much of a difference it affects I don't know it probably just alters the ISO or the gain on the actual chip sensor wide dynamic range keep that on so all these things if they're going to assist in your footage keep them on gyro sensor off or on audio is off at the moment uh, we'll put that on obviously timestamp off I find that very annoying um, sharpness I'm keeping that at normal white balance is auto color is normal so we can alter that normal black and white retro warm cool EV value plus or minus say if it's a particularly bright day and you want to lower your EV value distortion correction it's got that on it I'm leaving that on that's good and then obviously your system settings Set it up, format the card, blah, 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 blah. Keypad tone on or off. Voice prompt is on or off. I'll show you that in a minute. Screen saver. We'll alter that to three minutes. Save it's annoying me. Frequency. Rotate. So if you've got it in a car and it's mounted upside down and you want to rotate the image. Wi-Fi. Power on mode. Default settings and version. Now on the actual screen itself, you've got play so you can go on there and it'll show you I did a test video earlier on you should just be able to swipe through your different videos and photos 
And then also on the front here, it shows you a little picture of a fish. That's for loop recording. Well, it's not a fish, it's loop recording. And then a little picture of your microphone. You can click that, tiny little cross on it. That will not record sound now. I found that out the hard way when I did a test video on it. Click it again, sound is on. When you record, if you listen, she'll speak to you. Video See video start. Video stop. Here you go. When it's recording, start. let's have a look if there's any flashing lights on it. So she's recording at the moment, and there's no front LED. That's a shame. So you've no idea if it's <laughs> recording, if it's facing towards you. Right, so best check on that. There is a very faint blue LED just in the corner there, which the camera is not going to pick up on. Very faint blue LED flashing. And then if we swipe across, goes to photo. And again, if you listen, tells you you're doing a photograph. See if she tells you that you're doing time lapse. All right, we're in time lapse. Will she tell us that? No, just video start. She's not very, um, she hasn't got much in the language category, has she really? She can only tell you whether she's doing a video or photo. She's not that clever. But it's there. It's not voice control. It's not like a GoPro. That's why we'll go back to video. So that is the default 20 megapixel camera. Right, so spec wise of the Beefold 20 megapixel camera, it is a 2.45 inch touchscreen, an aluminium metal frame, as we said. Um, it just says it gives you a wonderful visual experience and easy to check your works. Um, it's 4K 20 megapixel sensor. It doesn't state which sensor, it is a Sony CMOS sensor. 170 degree lens, six layers of optical glass. Um, does 24 frames a second, 2K 30 frames a second, 1080p up to 60 frames a second. It's got anti-shake on it. Built in six axis electronic image stabilization. That's six axis. That's the same as you get on the SJ8 Pro. The SJ8 Plus only gives you three axis. Um, the case is 30 meters waterproof under water and then you get all your extra kit and everything that's with it. Two batteries, carrying bag, mounting accessories. It doesn't give us any more specs than that, unfortunately. I have gone on the internet and tried to find out and it doesn't say anything at all about it. Well, what we'll do, we're going to have a quick look at the app so that you can take a look at that now. Right, so we start the camera up, swipe from the top, there we go. So you've got your interface, again, very, very similar to the SJ cams. Wi-Fi settings, FPV, screen lock, switch off. So let's go into that. So now we're broadcasting. There's your little Wi-Fi interface password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which they're always that. Right, it comes up as action cam. It's a bit of a giveaway, so we'll click on that, and she should connect. Right, there you go, straight away it's connected. Now, unlike the SJ cam, I wonder if we'd switch it on the side, will it go into portrait mode, into landscape? Yay! Goes into landscape mode. There's not that much lag on that, that's pretty good. Okay, on here we've got the mode that it's in at the moment, full HD, 60 frames a second. Click bottom left hand corner, that's all the gumbo that I've done and I can download it there to the actual phone if I want to. Come back on that one. 
Uh, press that obviously to record video. I don't particularly want to do that at the moment. That there alters it to photo mode, which is fine. Right, the only issue I have is I can't figure out how you get into the settings on this interface because I would have thought you click on that in the top left hand corner but it's not doing anything that's refresh that's frequent operation whatever that is so I don't know I can take a picture oh I'm recording video now that's fine stop again but for the life of me I'm sorry to say I cannot figure out how you get into the settings okay what I'm going to do as well is just compare some footage between this and the SJ8 Pro now I'll just show you the screen on the back actually so we start the SJ8 Pro up Bear in mind, the SJ8 Pro is a £250 camera and this is a £75 stroke, it was £59 with the money off on Amazon. So let's get that booted up. When you look on there, that is not a bad display, that is really bright. That is one of the best displays I've seen on an action cam, full stop. So I'm very impressed with that. So, right, we'll test what the footage is like on this and uh, I'll put it all together and I'll do a little bit of a comparison video between the two so that you can see using my jury rig that I used the other day between my SJ cams and see what you think. This is inside. Um, it's obviously daylight outside but it is relatively dull at this end of the room. Now, one thing while I'm filming today, <clears throat> if you hear the pitter-patter of little feet, it's because we're dog sitting. Let me just introduce you to somebody. Cleo, say hello. That's Cleo. Cleo is 11 years old. She may look like a puppy. And I actually call her Marty Falman because she's got slightly buzz eyes. Um, the owner, Diane is my children's godmother and she's gone to Germany for the Christmas market so we're dog sitting and Lily absolutely adores this dog so yeah if you hear the pitter patter of little feet it's because I've got an addition in the room while I'm filming today so yeah this is inside um, not sure what the mic sounds like see what you think so this is inside I'm gonna get some bright footage now in the conservatory then I'm gonna go outside and see what it's like bright conservatory it's a lovely bright winters freezing cold day outside big thick jumper on keep me warm there you go pitter patter little feet she follows me around like a shadow you always want to know what's going on so i've tried to keep her in a basket but you know children and pets never film with them so we'll try a bit of footage outside see what that's like take a couple of photos i'll take one inside now and see what you think Right, I'm recording to both now. The B full 20 megapixel is on my right hand side, which will probably end up on your left. And then on the left hand side, I've got the SJ Pro. So I'm just testing both. I've got the mics on, on both of them. This is just going up and down the garden. Let's see what it's like. It's only a quick video test. You'll be able to pick up the quality of the video. Both set on 1080p, 60 frames a second. You know what happened last time when I tried to put 4K on my uh, SJ cam. 30 frames, it went very, very wobbly. So I'm just trying this now. See what it's like. And what we'll do. Up and down, image stabilization switched on on both of them. You stupid run up and down the garden. See what the footage is like. Right, I'm going to stop the SJ cam now and then I'm going to try a bit of footage on the B4 with image stabilization on and then with it off. Okay, the B4 
see what she's like, how she copes with. Bright lights, transitions. Panning round, it is a really bright day. Might I probably key back on the EV value? But on the screen, it seems to be doing a really good job. Right, so this is just on the beefle. She's up and down the garden. So this is with image stabilization on. Right, let's switch the stabilization off. Okay, this is with image stabilization switched off. Let's see what you think. The two compared. There we go. Right, let's come back in. Little clicker clout is in here. Some Christmas decorations up. All my camera gear on the table. So, uh, there you go. Some footage. Hopefully, I didn't knock the sound off this time. Because when you reach behind, it's very easy. I'll just be careful you don't knock the sound off on the camera. Um, but see what the image stabilization is like and everything else and see what you think. Right, a relatively quick review for me. You know, I, I tend to be a bit long-winded on these things, which I do apologise. So I've been outside, I've done my stupid running up and down the garden footage. Um, I'm going to put this all together for you, which you will have watched by now, um, and compare some footage between the S8 Pro and the Beefle. So, the Beefle. 20 megapixel action camera. Would I buy it? Obviously I did, but would I buy it if I was looking for one? Definitely. Um, I have already checked the footage out prior to doing the review, obviously. Um, and I think for the money, it's exceptional. Um, it's far better than any other cheap action camera that I've bought. I think it's as good as like the video footage on an SJ6 Legend. Um, you're not paying GoPro or SJ8 Pro money, so you're not going to get GoPro quality. You know, if you could, why would anybody buy a GoPro? But for the money, the build quality, the accessories, and everything else that you get on this camera is exceptional. Um, and I, I really think that you'll enjoy using it. I'm going to pop this one on eBay because I've got too many action cameras at the end of the day. Um, but it is an exceptional camera. Lovely build quality. Um, I was tempted to keep it as like a little extra B-roll camera just to use mounted on the car. Because um, the £75, with the 25% off you're paying £56, £59, something like that from Amazon. Next day delivery. It's a no-brainer. If you drive over a 350 pound action cam you're going to be a bit upset if you drive over a 60 pound action cam you'll be a little bit gutted because who, who can afford to lose 60 quid in this day and age unless of course you know you're a really rich youtuber which i'm not um but it's not going to break the bank you know if you want to buy one and give it to your kids or they want to do some filming around the house or just for go on holiday and it doesn't matter if it gets broke or stolen um, it's exceptional. I think it takes up to a 128 gig card. I'm not sure. I've only been using a 16 gig high speed card in it. Um, but yeah, if you get one, you'll be really happy. Um, as usual, thank you very much for all the comments. Always appreciated. I've had some lovely comments. Um, for me, over 240 views on my um, gimbal review. Um, I hope you're enjoying the reviews. I'm trying to do like a bit of outdoor footage or camping and then a couple of reviews because it's winter so we, I don't get a chance to go out as much and with work. So I hope you enjoy the reviews because I am Gary Gadget and I should be doing reviews. So thank you very much for the comments. Massive thank you to all my new subscribers. If it's your first time, please consider clicking below. That'd be great and subscribing to me. Um, thumbs up, always greatly appreciated. And as usual at this time of year, Merry Christmas. We'll catch you soon. Stay safe.